today during science we're going to continue reading our water and climate FOSS science textbook. Today I'm going to turn to page 73. On page 73 we're going to learn about an important woman. Her name is Ellen Swallow Richards. You can tell by the picture that she lived quite a long time ago. Ellen Swallow Richards an early ecologist. An American in 1900 could expect to live only to age 47. Today life expectancy is much longer. We owe that in part to Ellen Swallow Richards. She lived in a time when people understood little about germs and pollution. Yet Richards knew there was a connection between health and the environment. In the early 1900s, she wrote to the president of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, one of the most serious problems of civilization is clean water and clean air, not only for ourselves, but for the world. Ellen Swallow was born on December 3rd, 1842. So Ellen is important because she understood that our clean environment helps keep us healthy. She lived in Dunstable, Massachusetts. Growing up, Ellen did chores on her family's farm and helped in their store. She also took care of her mother, who was often sick. Ellen's first teachers were her parents. They saw that Ellen loved to learn. Before long, the family moved to Westford, Massachusetts, where Ellen entered school. Ellen became a teacher after graduation. When her mother became ill again, Ellen returned home to help, but she was unhappy working in the family store. She wanted to learn more, and she wanted to go to college. So here's Ellen. She wanted to learn as much as she could. Here she is in her study. A study is a place where you do work. Few colleges accepted women at that time. Many people believed studying hard would make women ill. But Ellen would not forget her dream. She worked at many jobs and saved all the money she could. Finally, she had enough money to enter Vassar College. Vassar was an experimental school. It aimed to give women the same chance that men had to get an education. Ellen was called a special student at Vassar because she was 26 years old. The other women were 14 to 19 years old. Ellen was too happy to care. Her favorite subjects were astronomy and chemistry. In 1870, she was part of Vassar's first graduating class. So remember, a long time ago, women were not allowed to go to college, so Ellen had to work very hard in order to learn. Now everyone gets to go to school. Think about if you weren't allowed to learn. Ellen planned to teach in Argentina, but war broke out. Instead, she entered graduate school at MIT. She was not charged tuition. Ellen believed this was because she was poor. In fact, MIT was afraid to admit women. By not charging Ellen, the school could claim she was not really a student. Ellen worked at MIT after her graduation in 1873. The professors respected her. One laboratory head said, When we are in doubt about anything, we always go to Miss Swallow. Ellen married chemistry professor Robert H. Richards in 1875. They helped each other with their work. So Ellen got married to another professor and they helped each other. Here they are collecting water samples. In 1884, Ellen Swallow Richards became an instructor of sanitary chemistry. For two years, she and Professor Thomas M. Drown studied the state's water supply. They suspected that something in the water was making people sick. What do you think? If there's dirty stuff in the water and we drank it, would that make us sick? Richards worked to find a way to test the water quality. Water was collected from every river and lake in Massachusetts once a month. Richards analyzed most of the 40,000 samples herself. When the survey was done, 
Massachusetts had the first standards for water purity. Professor Drown wrote that this was mainly due to Mrs. Richards's great zeal and vigilance. From then on, Richards taught others how to analyze air, water, and sewage. Ellen Swallow Richards started the Women's Laboratory at MIT in 1876. She wanted other women to study science. When the Women's Laboratory closed in 1883, Richards was thrilled. Through her efforts, women were no longer special at MIT. They were regular students, equal to men. Why do you think it's so important that Ellen studied water quality? And then why do you think that she wanted women to learn more science? She was one of the first women to study science at MIT. Here she is. After her, more women started working in science. Another of Richards' interests was nutrition. She opened the New England kitchen, where immigrants were taught how to cook nutritious, inexpensive food. She cared deeply about public health. She urged women to eat right and exercise. Ellen Swallow Richards died at the age of 68 on March 30, 1911. Many people consider her to be the founder of ecology. She said, The quality of life depends on the ability of society to teach its members how to live in harmony with their environment. It was her belief that science should make people healthier. She worked hard to make that happen. So why do you think it's so important that we live harmoniously or we live with our environment. If the environment is healthy, then that means we can also be healthy. Tell me something you learned about Ellen Ri Swallow Richards.